so in this topology what we need we need an mpls domains right so so in this in, in this mpls domains we have different three different for example cores uh, one core and two metros are connected this is a this is just a depiction of a topology in real world we will have like 50 to 60 different cores and uh, those are connected with the border routers different domains igp domains right in this case what will what we are doing is we do not want basically that igp routes to be redistributed between the cores so we do not want to expose any igp routes from each course right so what we need to do in terms of when let's say c1 wants to talk to each other right if we are having any kind of vpn service running across if you want to have a reachability between a1 and a2 what we need to have we need to have bgp lu so bgp lu across three different igp domains so what bgp lu is doing so bgp lu will give us a labels and the prefix out of the access nodes for the reachability perspective in terms of when c1 wants to talk to each other so we need bgp lu so there is a problem here the problem is there are quite few labels that we need to manage across end to end and another, another thing is there is if you see here this, these are all what called a stitching point when we are talking about a different stitching points so we need to stitch this igp domain with this right and then bgp lu will be bgp neighborship between these two right and then based on this bgp neighborship we'll have a label generated and we need we will have what one transport label on top of that we'll have a bgp lu label then we will have service label so bottom label so this will be used for your interdomain intra area and then in order to cross between metro to core we will go with the bgp lu label and then service end to end what kind of services like vpn services l2 or l3 services right so now basically what we'll see that what how we can do with srv6 so when we are using srv6 we need to have isis version 6 which will be there different different igp domains we have again the same as different igp domains earlier with mpls case we are using isis version 4 for v4 ips and now we are using isis v6 so isis v6 three different rings there is no redistribution if there is no redistribution then what will happen for the reachability perspective so isis v6 what it does is it will inject a summary route between each other so when they inject a summary route between each other so basically reachability will be there from a1 to a2 perspective so there is no label unicast required for reachability because in case of mpls when we do summarization basically summarization will break mpls so we need always need slash 32 route in case of mpls but here in ipv6 what we can do we are advertising the summarized route so there is one problem with summary route so for example we are advertising summary route right so from metro whatever the routes are there in metro b we are advertising the summary whatever is there in core we are advertising the summary similarly from this side as well we will have reachability but when we are advertising any kind of summary route summary route advertisement means it will hide the topology information as well as it will hide the unreachable prefixes that is there so unreachable prefixes that means so let's say we have a device let's say it is connected it is a and the device is 201 colon db8 colon 1 colon colon 100 right so this is a device and we summarize this from a perspective this is reachable right for example at t0 seconds it is reachable and at t10 second what happened it unreachable right it is down but for a perspective this a1 perspective this a device is always reachable because summarization will hide these informations so in order to overcome this so we have one which is which is called as upa 
So UPA stands for unreachable prefix announcement that is done by the ABR device. ABR will advertise that unreach that is basically unreachable. The ABR will advertise that unreachable. So by that way, A1 will come to know, okay, there is no more. A is not there. It is down. Another, another thing is area partitioning. Area partitioning is also, also similar way in which it will say that unreachable devices are not there in the topology. So that by, by that way, all the other device will come to know about, okay, if you are, even though we are doing a summarization, particular prefix is basically is not reachable. By that way, the source will able to know about the information, right? So with SR V6, we still have different IGP islands, three different IGP islands are there and we are gluing together and just exchanging the summary route. But in case of MPLS, what we are doing, three different IGP islands, we are doing stitching, stitching over here. And based on the stitching, we need what? We need labels. So end-to-end -end label should be there. That's the reason we should, we need BGPLU. If you are talking about SRV6, we are only doing routing end-to-end. -end. On top of that also, we are running the services.